You all right, lad? You are moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. I'll be the Ephra, I reckon. Some are more prone to the sickness than others. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. Feeling better, Koopo? Aha, you can see us. I had a feeling you could, Koopo. We're Moogles, and we live in this wood. Normal folk can't say you're heroes, which makes you special, Koopo. And seeing as how you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The wood's been restless of late. Lots of strange things happening. Have you a chance to witness anything suspicious, Koopo? But of course you haven't. You've only just arrived. Well, there's nothing for it then. We'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Koopo. I'm afraid those guys uh, drank it all. Gridania is still a fair way off in case you're wondering. Seeing as you're awake, how's about you keep me company till we get there? Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see? Bremont's the name, and Pedlin's me trade. As for your good self, by your unusual garments, I'd say you were one of them new adventurers. Am I warm? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call a living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventure is a risky business. These days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Um, The game power to win glory... To amass a fortune, oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might be as old Bremont's a chatterbox, but he sure as hell ain't no busybody. We all have a secret or three, don't we? Me? Dozens. And I'd rather they stayed secret too, which is why I don't go sticking me nose where they ain't welcome.
Just remember though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's fact. Halt! Go no further! What's this then? What's going on? A skirmish has broken out up ahead with the exile. For your own safety, you must remain here until. Bloody hells! We shall hold them here. Try to break clear. Was too bleeding close. Nice with the exile to send us a welcome party, the way. Joking aside, this won't be the last time you meet those feathered fiends, so just you take care, alright? By the by, is this your first trip to Grudania? Um, it is. It is? Well then, let this journey to itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. The city of Gridania lies slap bang in the middle of the Black Shroud, the biggest, lushest forest in all Eorzea. Though it ain't near as lush as it used to be, saying that, not since the Calamity laid half of it to waste. The destruction prompted a herd of new nasties to move in and gave the exile unneeded encouragement. Birdman raids have become a daily occurrence. Ah, at long last. Behold Gridania, the first nation blessed by the elementals. The Black Shroud, the ancient forest close to the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. However, the goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. And here's where we part ways, son. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares, then it's back to the high road for me. Yeah, I want you to have this. By way of thanks for keeping me company. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. May the matron take him to her bosom, that he may never want. And in his heart, sow serenity, purity, and sanctity.
You there. Yes, you. Your face is not known to me. Newly come to the city, no doubt. I am Burton Ant, Woodwiller of Gridania. It is my duty to protect our nation from her enemies while welcoming those who may yet prove her friends. Let us see what you are. Welcome to Grudania, a vibrant forest nation cradled in the bosom of nature. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. Uh, we'll go with mouse and keyboard. Uh, control's pretty straightforward. W, A, S and D for you stand for back, left and right. Uh, both mouse buttons at the same time to move forward automatically. You can also click your middle mouse button or press R for auto walk as well. Spaces jump, uh, right click to move around your camera, and left click to move the camera around your character. When you're ready to proceed, speak to Burton Ant. Uh, we'll close you. Open the Final Fantasy Lodestone Play Guide in your default web browser. Um, we'll leave that for the time being, we might take a look at that some other time. Right, so we need to go up here, and here's Burton Ant. Oh. Initiating quests. Non-player characters offering quests can be recognised by the exclamation marks above their heads. Right click the mark to bring up the quest window. So again, if you've played uh, World of Warcraft or similar games, very similar just there, uh, right click, exclamation mark inside that little uh, Q sort of uh, looking bubble to tell you that it's a quest. Once you've initiated the quest, a prompt will appear detailing its objectives and rewards. Click on the accept button in the lower left to add the quest to your list of current duties. Okay, I come to Gridania. To be recognised as an adventurer in the city-state of Gridania, you must first register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. Another green adventurer, I presume? I thought as much. We cannot allow strangers to wander Gridania unchecked and untested. Before you rush off and begin pestering every second citizen for work, I suggest you make yourself known at the Carleen Canopy. That's the headquarters of the local Adventurers Guild, in case you were wondering. The Carleen Canopy is the building you see behind me. Speak to Mother Meun within, and she will take you in hand. Okay, quest accepted. You have begun a quest. Use the duty list to help you complete your task. So, uh, upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title in the duty list on the right side of the screen. Again, show up to 5 once, so that's just over here. Clicking on the title will open the quest in your journal, allowing you to review objectives and rewards. So we'll just close that, and again, if you click the title, it brings up your journal. And then another thing they didn't mention here is uh, you can also click on your map, and I'll tell you roughly where it's going to take place. It's always the little green tick mark. Although sometimes there's uh, other icons, which we'll show you later on. Right, so we need to head off to the uh, the Adventurers Guild and speak with Mother Meun. Just a short trip up here. And uh, looking around the town, it always uh, sort of reminds me of a wood elf kind of theme with it being, well, set in the middle of the woods. And uh, quite a nice little uh, appearance. So we'll just head in here. There's Mother Meun, and we'll just quickly go through this uh, information text. Complete a quest by right-clicking the NPC with a check mark displayed above his or her head. Completing quests will earn you a variety of rewards from items and gil to experience points. Again, straightforward stuff, same as World of Warcraft, only difference is green tick mark instead of a yellow question mark. Well, well, what have we here? A wide-eyed and wondering young adventurer, come to put your name down at the guild, I assume? Welcome, Mune's my name, or Mother Mune as most call me, and the Carleen Canopy is my place. As the head of the Adventurers Guild in Gridania, I have the honour of providing guidance to the fledgling heroes who pass through our gates. No matter your ambitions, the guild is here to help you attain them. 
In return, we expect you to fulfil your duties as an adventurer by assisting the people of Gridania. A fine deal, wouldn't you agree? To an outsider's eyes, all may seem well with our nation, but naught could be further from the truth. The people live in a state of constant apprehension. The Ixal and various gangs of common bandits provide an unending supply of trouble. Trouble compounded by the ever-present threat of the Garland Empire to the north. And that is to say nothing of the calamity. Even now, the wounds have barely begun to heal. Ah, but I speak of it as if you were there. Forgive me. Five years past, Eosia was well nigh laid to waste when a dread worm emerged from within the lesser moon Dalamud and rained fire upon the realm. It is this which people call the Calamity. Scarcely a square malm of the Twelve's wood was spared the devastation, yet despite the forest's extensive wounds, not a soul among us can recall precisely how it all happened. I am well aware of how improbable that must sound to an outsider. It is improbable, but it's also true. For reasons we can ill explain, the facts around the Calamity are shrouded in mystery. There are as many versions of events as there are people willing to recount them. Yet amidst the hazy recollections and conflicting accounts, all agree on one thing, that Eosia was saved from certain doom by a band of valiant adventurers. Whatever else we've misremembered, none of us have forgotten the heroes who risked life and limb for the sake of the realm. And yet, whenever we try to say their names, the words die upon our lips. And whenever we try to call their faces to mind, we see naught but silhouettes amidst the blinding glare. Thus have these adventurers come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Ahem, pray do not feel daunted by the deeds of legends. We do not ask that you become another Warrior of Light, only that you do what you can to assist the people of Gridania. Great or small, every contribution counts. I trust you will play your part. All that's left then, is to conclude the business of registration. Here's a quill. Scroll your name right there. Oh, and I would appreciate if you used your real name. There's a special place in the Seven Fell for those who use amusing aliases. Elric Fandrell. Hmm. And you're quite sure that isn't an amusing alias? Yes, ma'am. Very well. From this moment forward, you are a registered adventurer of Gridania, a nation blessed of the elementals and the bounty of the Twelves Wood. The guild expects great things from you. Look at what just arrived. Another god's damned adventurer. Don't you start with that. Adventurers are the very salve that Gridania needs. The Elder Seeds here herself bade us welcome them with open arms. Do you mean to disregard her will? Of course not. Lest you forget, it is my sworn duty to uphold the peace. Am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? You, adventurer, mind that you do not cause any trouble here, or I shall personally cast you out of this realm and into the Seventh Hell. Ahem. Pay that outburst no mind. He meant only to... counsel you. Suspicious characters have been prowling the Twelve's Wood of Light. You see, and the wood whalers feel they cannot afford to take any chances. As is often the way with folk who live in isolation, Gridanians are wont to mistrust things they do not well know, your good self included. Fear not, however, given a catalogue of exemplary deeds and no more than a handful of years, the locals will surely warm to you. On behalf of my fellow citizens, I welcome you to Gridania. May you come to consider our nation as your own in time. Now then, you may depend on Old Mother Moon to teach you a few things that every adventurer should know. So that's uh, 400 experience, that's this little icon here. And 103 gil, pretty obvious, the coin. This concludes the introductory game tutorial. You have taken the first step as an adventurer in the city of Gridania. Listen well to the wisdom of Mother Miyoon, then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. And we've leveled up and gained a new skill. But first we'll just have a quick look at this tutorial text. 
Main Scenario Quests. Uh, important quests use to tell the story of Eosia and her people are called Main Scenario Quests. These tasks are easily distinguishable from others by their unique icon. So as you can see, it's just uh, an exclamation mark with a flame around it. Uh, number two. Quests using this icon indicate a new task or series of tasks are tied to new duties or features you have yet to unlock. So when you come to uh, unlock other uh, classes for for your character, uh, it'll be this sort of icon here. Pretty straightforward stuff. Right, uh, that new spell. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Uh, stone, that's your uh, basic healer attack. Uh, two and a half seconds cast. Two and a half seconds uh, recast. And uh, 400 mana points. Uh, deals earth damage with potency of 140. Uh, cure. That's your basic heal. Uh, one and a half seconds cast, two and a half seconds recast, cure potency 450, mana points uh, 400. Pretty straightforward again. Okay. Mune, proprietress of the Carlene Canopy, wants you to perform free tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Let us begin at the beginning, shall we? Now that you are a formal member of the Adventurers Guild, we must be sure you have a firm grasp of the fundamentals of adventuring. To that end, I have three tasks I wish you to perform. Your first task is to visit the Ephorite. This massive crystal stands in the middle of the Ephorite Plaza, not far from the Carleen Canopy. As a device that enables instantaneous transportation, the Ephorite plays a key role in the life of the ever-wandering adventurer. Once you have located the crystal, all you need to do is touch its surface. A member of the Wood Whalers will be present to offer further instruction. For your second task, you are to visit the Conjurer's Guild. There is no better place to learn the arts of conjury. Speak with Madel and she will explain the benefits of joining the Guild. For your third and final task, I would have you visit the markets at the heart of Old Gridania's commercial district. There you shall find weapons, armour, and all the various items an adventurer might need on his travels. There is however more to the markets than buying and selling goods. Speak with Pars Montret and listen well to his counsel. The Master Merchant can be uncooperative at times, so be sure to offer him one of my famous eel pies. Like so many men, he is much more charitable when his stomach is full. Yeah, I made a batch not long ago. You have your task, Elric. May no forget guide your path. Ah, and one more thing. Should you happen to come across any citizens in need, don't be afraid to proffer a helping hand. I'm certain they will be pleased to meet an adventurer in whom they can confide their woes. Granted, the work they offer is unlikely to be of realm shattering importance, but prove your worth and build a reputation, and in time, folk will be more inclined to entrust you with matters of moment. I also suggest that you lend an ear to the smith here in the canopy. The smiths are trusted representatives of the Adventurers Guild and are an invaluable source of advice for neophyte heroes seeking to attain greatness. Right, uh, let's have a look. Main menu. Main menu grants quick and easy access to most of the game's main features. For example, second character under character opens a menu, contain your character's various attributes and currently equipped gear. Second journal under duty displays a list of current and complete quests and leave quests. So duty journal displays your quests. And character. Character again. Brings up your character screen. Or of course you can just press C. Um, if you wish to customise the game's various settings, including keybind, HUD layout and system configuration, they can all be accessed via the system. Uh, select Active Help to redisplay these tutorial messages. Game progress is saved automatically, so there are no in-game load or save functions. However, to prevent data from being lost or corrupted, it is strongly recommended that you end each playing session by selecting Log Out or Exit Game from the system menu. Sanctuaries. A crescent moon icon will appear to the right of your experience bar. Whenever you enter a sanctuary, while in this area, 
While in the special area, you will accrue rested bonus. The bonus will continue to grow even if you are flying. Uh, all experience earned through battle, crafting and gathering while under the benefit of the rested bonus will be increased by 50%. Uh, your current rested bonus is displayed on top of your experience bar. The dark orange bar shows how much more experience can be earned before the bonus fades. If the bar is blue, it indicates your bonus will carry over to the next level. Uh, inns in cities, as well as various outposts and settlements, are classified as sanctuaries. To maximize your experience earned potential, make it a habit to always log out in one of these areas. So again, that's just going off your uh, rest exp experience bonuses. Just uh, log out in an inn and you'll get rest experience, just like in World of Warcraft. Um, navigation. Pressing M on your keyboard, selecting the minimap or selecting the map under travel from the main menu in the lower right hand corner of your screen will bring up the area map. If a quest objective is located in that area, it will be indicated with a special icon. The location of quest objectives can also be confirmed by clicking on the objective in the duty list. Uh, so that's just M to bring up your map. And we will have a quick stop over here by the smith. Now, I don't believe he was in the game when I last played it, or if he was, then I don't remember using him, so I'm not all that familiar with uh, what sort of features he has to offer us. Greetings. I am one of the smiths, a stalker of fires and forger of futures. As a dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. I see you have but recently taken up the Adventurers Mantle. The possibility stretching out before you must be positively daunting. In the Adventurers Guild, we see new adventurers as fledgling heroes. You are our champions of tomorrow, our nascent stars of limitless potential. My fellow smiths and I are here to provide you with guidance, but the guild also enlists a cadre of veteran adventurers who will be happy to share with you their accumulated wisdom. You can recognise these helpful men and women by their title of Mentor. Mentors stand ready to advise you on any aspect of adventuring. They have hundreds of quests under their belts and will likely have a solution for whatever dilemma might be causing you trouble. A mentor may even offer to accompany you on your adventures. I highly recommend that you take advantage of a mentor's aid to enrich your experiences in Eorzea. Pray do not hesitate to ask me if you would like to know more. The new adventurer status is applied to all players who have recently begun their adventures in Eorzea. Amongst Eorzea's thriving population, there are seasoned players known as Mentors, who have taken it upon themselves to assist these new adventurers. When a new adventurer and a Mentor form a party, they both receive a bonus to experience points earned. Upon invitation by a Mentor, new adventurers also gain access to the Novice Network, an exclusive chat channel where they can consult with Mentors and share their experiences with other beginning players. Right, so we've had a uh, quick look at him and uh, found out what he has to tell us. So, attune yourself to the Ephraid crystal found inside the city. We'll head up there. And we shall uh, ignore that guy on our right for the moment. You simply want to right click. You'll get this little icon here and the attuning progress bar. You attune to the Ephraid. Greetings, adventurer. I see we are faithfully following Mother Mune's instructions. Allow me to offer you a bit of instruction myself. I'm Nisia of the Wood Whalers, and I know a thing or two about the Ephraite. Yes, that big crystal right there. Ephraites are devices that tap into ethereal energies and are primarily used as means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and Teleport, the most common transportation spells, make direct use of the Aetherites and the connection to the flow of Aether. And as these devices are found in almost every corner of Eosia, any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune himself to each one. Truly, few things in this world are so useful to an intrepid explorer. But you need not locate them all at once. Before rushing out into the wilds, I suggest you start with the Aetherites found here in Gridania. Should you wish to learn more about the Ephrite or transportation magic, I am here to answer your questions. You attune with the Ephrite. You are now able to use the return spell. 
return. The spell return can be used to instantly travel back to the Ephrite you set as your home point. Casting the spell does not require any mana points and can be accessed by selecting return and to travel from the main menu. The sole limitation of the spell is that it can only be cast once every 15 minutes earth time. Only one home point may be set at any time. To make an Ephrite your new home point, right click on the crystal to bring up the Ephrite menu. So you would just, oops, somebody's in our way, uh, right click, and then you would just go here with the little star, set home point, and it already says home point as we did that before. So basically it's just um, acting as a half stone. Now, we've done uh, quite a bit for the moment, so we shall uh, continue our story in the next episode. See you guys then.